Welcome to Cloud Pricing Models. In this lecture, we're going to take a look at the uh, three primary Azure pricing models that cater to various business needs and scenarios. These models are pay-as-you-go, reserved instances, and spot pricing. Let's dive into each one so you can get a better understanding of their uh, unique characteristics and applications. Now, the pay-as-you-go model is a flexible option that allows users to pay for Azure services based on actual usage. Uh, this comes with no upfront commitment. You only pay for what you use and you're typically billed per minute or per hour depending on the resource. Now, the pay-as-you-go really offers uh, tons of flexibility and it allows you to start or stop using services at, at any time. There's no need for long-term commitment uh, adapting to uh, ever-changing business needs. However, it's important to remember that you can run into variable costs when you use this model, and those costs can lead to unpredictable expenses if you're not monitoring them. The pay-as-you-go model is, is perfect uh, for uh, development environments, testing, short-term projects, and for businesses that prefer uh, operational over capital expenditures. Now, next we have reserved instances or RIs. Now, what reserved instances do is they allow users to commit to a specific virtual machine type and size uh, for a fixed term, usually one year or three years. And in exchange for this, they get discounted pricing for that commitment. The key features of reserved instances include a, a significant cost savings when compared uh, to pay-as-you-go. It offers a predictable billing, uh, which makes budgeting more straightforward, uh, but it is uh, not as flexible as the pay-as-you-go model. What this means is that changes uh, to your, um, your reserved instances might be restricted uh, or they might incur additional costs. That being said, reserved instances are a good solution for long-term projects that have predictable resource requirements and for businesses that are looking to optimize costs. And then lastly, we have spot pricing. Now, the spot pricing model allows you to take advantage of uh, what's called unused Azure capacity, and you could do that at a significant discount. However, it's important to note that Azure can actually terminate uh, these kinds of instances at any time if that uh, unused Azure capacity is needed elsewhere. So in other words, spot pricing is, is really uh, a cost-effective option, but it doesn't come with any guarantees. It's governed by a bidding system where you set a maximum price uh, that you want to pay for your instances, and it's ideal when combined with automation for scaling. At the end of the day, Spot instances are suitable for things like batch processing, data analysis, and non-critical development and testing. In other words, things that uh, can sustain sudden power-offs or terminations of those instances. So what you want to do is, is take away from this lecture that there are three different pricing models available. You have pay-as-you-go, which offers flexibility. You have reserved instances, which provide cost savings for long-term needs. And then you have spot pricing, which is ideal for cost-sensitive, interruptible tasks. By understanding these different models, you can make more informed decisions that align with your goals and budget.